Hey, happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing well today. So this is the first week of July, and this weekend is the 4th of July, a time where we celebrate our independence and our freedom. However, there is another freedom that sometimes I think we forget to think about, and that is the freedom we have in Christ Jesus and what He has truly done for us. Today, you may not feel that uh, living here in America is quite as free as it used to be, even though we have individuals who strive to fight for that freedom for us, first responders who are always there to help us through situations. However, we have to remember that God is always here with us in our hearts, walking with us through each and every moment. In circumstances like what we're going through where we can feel still a little fearful of what's going on, one thing we can remember is that the promised Holy Spirit dwells with us who call Him our Lord and Savior through every one of these moments, these transitions that we're going through. We do have Christ helping us through this. Now, you would have heard Pastor's sermon, I hope, on Sunday, Pastor Chad that is, speaking about um, community and the importance of the fellowship and the church and why we need church and the importance of why we need Christ. Today's lesson that I'm going to be reading uh, Acts 10 out of is going to be about a certain individual who was what they called a God-fearing individual. However, he still needed to know who Christ was and needed to know the importance of salvation through Jesus. And we have to remember that when we meet individuals or even us ourselves, just knowing who God is and being a God-fearing individual does not mean we have salvation. It is when we truly understand who Christ is and accept Him as our Savior because He is the only way, the truth, and the life, then it is then that we have salvation. So I've met individuals in my life that I've thought, man, this person is really kind. This person has a great spirit, uh, a sense of empathy, uh, understanding, some wonderful gifts. And I can't imagine what they would do for the kingdom of God if they just knew Jesus. And they might not even tell you that they're not God-fearing people. They believe in God, but there is a difference between someone who has accepted Christ and people who believe there's a God. It's not our place to judge that. Only Christ knows someone's heart. But it is our place to make sure we can share Christ with everyone we have. So look, let's look at this scenario and this situation that took place in Acts chapter 10, starting with verses 1, and I'll read through verse 8. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what we know as the Italian regiment. He and all his family were devout and God-fearing. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. One day, at about three in the afternoon, he had a vision. Now, see, he gave generously, he had good moral conduct, and praying at three in the afternoon shows that he also observed the Jewish law. It says he had a vision, and he distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. So in that we hear it wasn't a dream, he wasn't asleep, it was a revelation through an angel. Cornelius stared at him in fear. I think I would too. What is it, Lord? He asked. The angel answered, your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now send a man to Joppa to bring back a man named Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying with Simon the Tanner, whose house is by the sea. When the angel who spoke to him had gone, Cornelius called two of his servants and a devout soldier who was one of his attendants. He told them everything that had happened and sent them to Joppa. Now here we see a man who trusted and believed in God enough to understand about dreams and visions and know that God worked through situations like that. And he did exactly what he was told because he believed what he had heard and in what he had seen. However, he still needed to hear about Jesus. So that just reminds us that no matter what we're doing in our life and no matter what and who we serve, we have to have Christ in our hearts as our Savior. And we have to be willing to listen to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. So I'm hoping and praying that today you will continue to let Jesus just be the Lord of your life and let it be so much 
that it just oozes out of you in everything you say and do, and therefore others will want to be a part of what you've got, and that is a part of having Jesus Christ in their lives. You have a blessed day.